It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com Welcome to Creating Health, Mind, Body, and Spirit with Dr. Ken Davis. The Advanced Health System. You can go to DavisAHS.com to find out more about that. This evening, our chat room is open. And you can access our chat room for questions and comments. Uh, the chat room button is located on the left-hand bar of our, of our menu bar. Now the host of Creating Health, Mind, Body, and Spirit, Dr. Ken Davis. And good evening all. Welcome to Creating Health, Mind, Body, and Spirit. I'm Dr. Ken Davis. It is Monday, November 3rd, 2014, here in the East. And a beautiful day here. A little cool, windy, but um, fall is in the air. Uh, we have a great show tonight. I'm very excited about the show tonight. We're going to talk about viruses, infections, super germs. We'll touch upon limes and, um, and give you a lot of good tips and recommendations that you can do uh, to combat, you know, the flu seasons and be and support your immune system and build it so that your body has all of the tools necessary to, uh, to fight this and, and, and remove it. We're also going to demonstrate tonight, I have my associate here, Kristen Donchez, who works with me in, uh, at the Davis Advanced Health System in Montclair, and we're going to be also demonstrating uh, our system, the ENATE system, Energetic Nutrition Assessment Technique, that has been, uh, uh, not been, is being taught all around the United States. We've been teaching it in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, I just completed a workshop in Boston uh, about three weeks ago. And we have an upcoming workshop. And certainly those listening in, uh, we would love to have you there. Uh, we'll talk more about how you can find more information about that at the end of the show. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, the weekend of November 22nd and 23rd. You know, uh, as we, we all know, we've been seeing a tremendous amount of uh, uh, headlines and uh, news about the Ebola crisis, that uh, it was only a matter of time until we, we, we saw how it was transferred from uh, West Africa and then through Europe, and now uh, with the cases of exposure, and uh, not just exposure, but, but those that were infected, uh, that one doctor in New York. And it's creating quite a buzz, and it's creating quite a scare uh, in the United States, as well as other viruses and infections that we're, we're seeing. So... Um, we're going to talk about that tonight, and as I mentioned, I'm going to give recommendations to you that you can, nutrient-wise, that you can um, access and get, and I'll tell you how we're going to do this uh, at the end of the show as well. I'll give, so I would encourage you all listening in to have some note paper with you as uh, there's going to be a lot of great information. I wanted to begin the show by summarizing uh, a, a number of weeks back, uh, the live show that I did uh, on understanding what, what are referred to as the five foundational pillars of health and their relationship to the four major body systems, because this is where it's happening. And if we're going to address virus infection, super germs, limes, and so forth, and co-infections, we have to first have an understanding of these, uh, these pillars. And as I mentioned going back, just like this building that I'm sitting in has foundational pillars that hold it up, so does our body. There are foundational pillars that are the support beams to optimal health and well-being. And as long as, as those uh, foundations are strong and sturdy, then we're going to be healthy. And especially our immune systems uh, and resistance is also going to be able to 
combat these viruses, infections, super germs that are, are affecting so many people today, uh, not only in the United States, but around the world. You know, I remember as a young uh, doctor, I used to ask the question in my health lectures, um, which is this, there are 10 people that go swimming in a lake or a pond, and the next day or, or two days later, five of them uh, come down and get an infection or cold or flu or whatever, and five don't. Why doesn't everyone who goes swimming in that lake or pond come down with a cold or an infection? Obviously, the answer is simple, because the immunity or the resistant component in those five that did not come down with it was a lot stronger than than the other five that did. Also, what we're seeing today, and I talked about this, God, over three decades ago, we're seeing a rampant overuse of medications and drugs and antibiotics that are creating not only in problems or imbalances in the ecosystems of our bodies and our intestinal flora, in our gut health, and whatever, and we're seeing a scourge of a resistant uh, uh, viruses and bacteria that are very smart because they have the ability to mutate. They have the ability to morph in their survival mechanism to resist these antibiotic usages that say, you know what, okay, I'll, I'll just change my structure um, to keep going. So it's not just enough to be able to uh, give an antibiotic, because again, many of you may know that antibiotic does not touch a virus. It does not touch a virus. Now, we are not against the utilization at times of certain medications that may be necessary in an acute crisis situation. But again, the overuse and the rampant utilization of medications and pharmaceuticals and antibiotic usage is not the answer to what's going on in the strengthening of our immune function. You see, given this is an important, and, and those taking notes, you want to write this down. See, given the right raw materials, you know, your body can destroy, for example, viruses. However, if the virus replicates so fast that your immune system gets overwhelmed, then you're going to get sick. It's really that simple. And uh, also, uh, in the body, there are what are called inflammatory cytokines uh, and dead viruses that are secreted during the process of killing the virus and are all part of this fluish process that happens. So therefore, you know, any nutrient that can block this um, or inhibit this viral replication process uh, can be a therapeutic agent. And that, of course, can be what? Apart from a uh, herbal product, for example, or a homeopathic agent, it could be a food. And we'll talk about food and diet uh, as the show goes on. So um, we'll talk about, again, uh, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, certain nutrients that are absolutely worth the cost and the hassle of taking them um, if you or someone else has a chronic uh, virus or a, an autoimmune condition today. So um, again, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Let's just summarize again those foundational pillars as I mentioned. And again, when we get into the demonstration component, we'll show you how this works. What are those five foundational pillars? Number one, we have to have proper hydration. Many people are not hydrating themselves properly, which can lead to tremendous stress in the kidneys and kidney function and the ability of the kidneys to filter properly. Number two, we have to have proper digestive health and digestive function. And that's where a lot 
of our ensuing uh, dysfunction and health-related issues stem from. Also, the relationship to the mind-body connection, especially in relationship to gut health, is vital. And we're treating and we're dealing with, whether pharmaceutical or holistically based, we're treating and dealing with gut-related issues, but a lot of those gut-related issues uh, relate to emotion. So we have to have an indicator system or a way that we can evaluate the emotional mind component, especially in relationship to gut health, and also balance that out through helping the chemistry of the brain, through balancing the neurotransmitters uh, and having a, a, an ability through proper and specific testing, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit tonight in the show, as well, in, as, well as having a system or an approach that can identify this underlying cause and problem. Thirdly, uh, as far as the pillar, we also have to have proper sugar or blood sugar handling or blood sugar regulation, something that is rampant, again, as an imbalance or a problem today in our society. We, again, we all know that obesity is a problem uh, that we see in, our, in the United States and actually increasing in different areas of the world that are moving away from their, their nat uh, natural uh, uh, dietary uh, habits and what they've been eating over generations. Um, we're seeing uh, an increase of uh, insulin uh, dysfunction. We're seeing um, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, um, all things that are preventive uh, in relationship to um, uh, that particular third pillar. What are the three organs, by the way, that regulate insulin handling? Well, here's what they are. Number one, the liver, very vital organ of the body. Number two, your adrenals, adrenal function. We touched a lot on that uh, on that show uh, a number of weeks back. And number three is the pancreas. And the pancreas, again, has a twofold job. Its job is primarily through cells called the islets of Langerhans is to produce insulin, and also they produce enzymes to help in the digestive process of your food stuff that you eat and break down. The fourth pillar is the proper, what we call fatty acid metabolism. That's your balance of omega-3s, 6s, and 9s, and also there are omega-7s. There's a lot of research now that's being done on omega-7s. So vital, vital for our health and our well-being. And the fifth one is what we call tissue mineral assessment, meaning that, and that has a lot to do with our calcium regulation in the body, uh, micronutrients, macronutrients. What are, what are our four major macronutrients? Uh, I'm going to question you guys out there. Uh, water, fats, carbohydrates, and protein. Uh, micronutrients and trace minerals, vitamins and minerals, fat-soluble, water-soluble, vitamins, uh, uh, and so forth. Uh, proper amounts. Do we, is there a iron imbalance deficiency? Is there an iodine deficiency? Is there enough zinc? Uh, these all have to do with our tissue mineral assessment. So those are the five pillars or foundational pillars of health. Now, those pillars, again, as I mentioned, have a direct relationship and effect on the four major body systems. And what are they? Well, number one, immune, what we call the immune allergy system. So immune allergy relationships or imbalances or dysfunctions are a direct result to a dysfunction in one or more of those major pillars. Number two, the endocrine system, your hormonal balance. That's another major body system. Number three, your cardiovascular system. And number four, what we call the neurological detoxification system. So five foundational pillars, four major body systems. And again, underlying, as it relates to virus infection, super germ, bacteria, parasites, the underlying root cause of the problem stems from an imbalance in these pillars that leads to the body system problem. 
Now, it's also important to understand, which is why in our wellness programs that we uh, institute in our clinic in Montclair, that we believe that it's very, very difficult for an individual to, to maintain their health and reclaim their health and their youth and their life if the house is dirty. And what do I refer to or mean as the house? This is your house, your body. And the house becomes dirty due to environmental toxins, alcohol, high carbohydrate intake, poisons that we take in, drugs, medications, and also our thoughts, our thinking over acute or a chronic period of time. Because our thinking and our thoughts are most of the times negative. And over a long period of time, that negative thinking creates physical toxicity within your body. Now, we, yes, it is important to eat, take proper supplements and whatever, but virus, infection, super germs can immediately, in many occasions, be helped and affected and, and a load taken off of immune function by cleaning your house and detoxifying the body. So detoxification is the important number one factor that many, many individuals need to do before they can turn their health around and then get on a supplemental program that can support that. And again, we'll, we'll, we'll go deeper into that tonight. Um, okay, so let's, let's move along a little bit. And please, I encourage you to chat with me and uh, uh, ask some questions and uh, call in tonight. The lines are open as well. I'd love to hear from you as, um, and, and answer your questions. The other thing that, as we move along in the show tonight, that I, that I want to impart on you is, again, remember, we're going to talk about this system that I created uh, along with my wife, Lisa, Lisa Davis, called ENATE, Energetic Nutrition Assessment Technique. Now, we all uh, can accept the fact that, uh, you know, acupuncture, for example, has shown now over the last 5,000 years that there are channels of energy that flow in and around the body, or what we know as the meridian system. Um, and we certainly can't poo-poo that because many people are uh, benefited by acupuncture throughout the world. What I'm getting at is that we need to understand that our body is a roadmap. It's a map that has indicators or reflexes that light up primarily or become active uh, as it relates to our organ functions, our biochemistry, our glandular functions. Uh, there are reflexes and indicators that relate to our emotional health and well-being, nutritional deficiencies, excesses, and of course, uh, indicators that relate to virus, infection, bacteria, super germs. So in the innate system that I'll be demonstrating in a little bit, there are indicator systems that we have created and developed that also have been um, uh, verified uh, by uh, not only th thousands of people that have been tested by it, but also to be able to verify these reflexes and indicator systems through the utilization of other modalities that can verify them, such as blood chemistries, uh, functional medicine testing, saliva, stool that evaluates hormonal uh, imbalance, um, adrenal dysfunction, and other uh, modes of testing that solidify the reflex findings that we uh, we get in our master uh, ENA points that I'll be demonstrating in a few minutes. See, each one of us has a bio-individuality so that no two people are the same, so that 
yes, we're, we're, we want to affect and strengthen the immune system, but the virus that may be um, proliferating or uh, active in one individual is due to a vitamin D deficiency, uh, where in another individual it's due to a vitamin A deficiency or a deficiency in selenium or um, essential fatty acids or so forth. So how do you know? How are you going to indicate that? How are you going to find that out as a practitioner or as a patient uh, or a client? Well, the, the, uh, yes, there is a, uh, a protocol that I'll be giving you uh, that certainly you can follow that will be supportive of your immune system. But we believe in, our, in the Davis Advanced Health System and in our innate system that if an individual can be evaluated and utilize all these modalities, then it could be uh, immediately, in a matter of minutes, uh, determine which particular deficiency is the priority, whether or not an individual indeed has a vitamin D deficiency, whether they're antioxidant deficient, whether or not they are vitamin K2, which is so important, for example, in cardiovascular health. I'm just utilizing that as an example. So the innate system, the energetic nutrition assessment technique, offers not only the patient and the client uh, a methodology to determine so specifically the need for support and what it is, but off also offers the practitioner a, a way of uh, immediately evaluating these deficiencies and then utilizing... Um, functional medicine testing, blood chemistry, and other modalities uh, to verify those innate readings. Okay. Also, since we're on the topic of energy, one of the things that I learned many years ago from my mentor was to look at the body, again, from an energetic perspective, and especially to understand that the cells, for example, that make up the liver, make up the heart, make up the spleen, um, as we know, communicate with each other. But if you break those cellular structures down, it's primarily energy and information. Viruses too. Infections also. Limes, spirochetes also. Super germs is really a vibration of frequency but it's a discordant or a foreign frequency and vibration to the body. The body does not know what to do with it. So what it does is it harbors it, or it's a vibration that's so overpowering to already a vibratory rate of a human being that is in a discordant frequency breakdown. Just like, so we all have to accept the fact that everything is vibration. So this table that I'm knocking on is a different vibration than that table. Same with viruses. So yes, viruses have DNA strands, there's RNA viruses, there's, we'll talk about that also in the show, the different types and category. But I want you to understand illness and imbalance as a vibration or a discordant harmony. So that when we give a nutrient, when we give a herb, when we give a food substance, we're also giving an energy and a frequency that can actually cancel out or clash with that foreign vibration of that virus, infection, super germ, parasite, and so forth. Very, very important concept. So that we're also looking at this from a vibrational and energetic perspective, which is a very powerful way to look at things, something that we've been doing for about 40 years. Let's talk a little bit about, we'll, get, we'll come back to that, and then we'll do our demonstration. One of the individuals that um, I have had the opportunity to study from and look at his work and uh, his name is Dr. Alex Vasquez. And Alex teaches, does a lot of teaching for a biotics uh, research company all around the United States. And Alex, Dr. Vasquez, 
um, uh, has doctorates in naturopathy, chiropractic, and osteopathy. So it, it, it gives him tremendous skills that the average uh, clinician just does not have the, the time to, uh, to research the data that Dr. Vasquez does. Um, and he also, uh, uh, I would encourage you to go to uh, the Biotics Research site on the internet and look at his webinars, which are fascinating and very informative. Um, what Alex has done is that recently he's made a connection between autoimmunity and, uh, and viruses that um, if you listen to it, it really makes a lot of sense. And I'm going to try and give you some of this information tonight. Dr. Vasquez says that viruses can certainly cause immune dysregulation, but they also cause what's called mitochondrial dysfunction, adding to further inflammation. And inflammation is the name of the game. Um, so here's some, uh, let's review uh, some data that uh, Dr. Vasquez has come up with about virus and how they uh, communicate I'm sorry, how they contribute to autoimmunity and then some therapeutic strategies that we can, uh, we can do. So what Dr. Vasquez did is he broke viruses primarily into five categories, and I'll read these to you. Um, number one is called epigenomic viruses, endogenous viruses, two, three, bacteriophages, viral transactivation, and bacterial immunosuppression. Now, you may know that, let's go back to number one, that epigenomic viruses are known or often uh, as those often popular viruses like herpes and Epstein-Barr and cytomegalovirus and human papillomavirus and also parvovirus B19, etc. See, most of the population contain these viruses, although the immune system kind of keeps them inactive unless a major stressor occurs. This group also occurs outside of our body's uh, DNA. <clears throat> the other group, the second group called the endogenous viruses, are sometimes called the human endogenous retroviruses, and they are embedded in our DNA. Dr. Vasquez compared them to software that comes with your computer. So just as the software is in the computer, whether or not you are aware of it, so we have viral DNA embedded in our human DNA. It's in the computer, you're not aware of it. Science tells us that we may not have the full virus, but there is enough of the virus like the capsule that can cause inflammation, the capsule of the virus. Number three, the bacteriophages are another class of viruses that really don't infect us directly, but they target what? They target the bacteria in our gut. Remember, the bacteria in our gut have a major influence on both inflammation and our immune response. So, for example, in both lupus and chronic disease, there were almost twice as many as these bacteriophages as in the normal population. Again, they target the gut. The next category is called viral transactivation and refers to the process where if one virus is activated, it can start a domino or a cascade effect, effect activating other silent viruses. The body has many dormant viruses that our immune system, again, keeps in check. However, when one virus is activated, other dormant viruses can be activated. And now what happens? The body's now fighting um, these dormant viruses. This is a very common also occurrence, in, for example, in Lyme's disease, because Lyme has many cofactors or, or co-infections, I should say, uh, that uh, are correlated uh, that may not be the right term, but are, uh, that go along. It's not just the, the limes. There's, there's Babesia, there's Bartonella, there's Ehrlichia, there's Mycoplasma, and so forth, Anaplasmosis, all these co-infections that are on top of and become activated with the limes component. 
Um, Dr. Vasquez goes on to say that the combination of these viruses and bacteria create a type of polydysbiosis. Viruses add to the total microbial load. And Vasquez calls it your TML, or total microbial load. The TML will create a total inflammatory load. So his position is that people with autoimmune, this is very important, that individuals that autoimmune conditions have really mitochondrial dysfunction from toxins and some nutritional deficiencies in their total microbial load. So that's why it's very important to detoxify the body, uh, especially when the indicator is there that someone needs a detox, and that's, again, what the innate system can offer, uh, an identification of when someone needs detox and when someone doesn't. So um, we'll talk about, again, um, some of these nutrients that we can take to support that as we demonstrate um, uh, the innate system. I'm just going to go to the uh, chat room. What is your best recommendation? I'll talk about the detoxification, uh, Samantha. Uh, Cheryl asks, I know that water is probably the best liquid to drink, but what about juices like pomegranate or acai? Um, save that question there, uh, Cheryl, and I'll come back to that. And what are your thoughts on, on various meats versus vegetables? Um, I'm going to answer that in a second. What I'd like to do, Rich, if we could, is I'd just like to take a break uh, for about five minutes, and, uh, and we'll answer those questions, and we'll begin the demonstration uh, part of the uh, show tonight. I hope you're enjoying the show. Feel free to chat with me. I will answer those questions in the chat room. And give us a call, and uh, let me hear your voice, and uh, we'll answer your questions for you. Be back in about uh, three minutes. Stay tuned. Welcome to the new sound of Rockland. Rocklandworldradio.com. Exciting online TV and radio. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Welcome, Welcome to the new sound of Rockland. Rockland. Rocklandworldradio.com. Rockland. Exciting, Exciting online TV and radio. radio. Watch and listen to what you've been missing. Broadcasting independent music, art, and culture. From the world of pop to poetry, classical to cutting edge. Movies, comedy, jazz, jams, rock and roll baby, interviews, information, and event listings. Join, join the revolution. It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com Some people still don't believe that secondhand smoke is dangerous. This is Scott Bakula. Did you know that just being around someone who smokes can cause severe lung problems, heart disease, and cancer? 
but there is something you can do about it. Call for a free booklet from the Will Rogers Institute. It clearly explains the proven risks of secondhand smoke and the ways you can avoid exposure. Toll free, 1-877-957-7575. Because secondhand smoke is dangerous. Believe it. back we are back on well we're live back on creating health mind body and spirit i'm dr ken davis uh okay so let me just answer these questions uh before we move on to our demonstration uh the best recommendation for detoxification is i use a product line from orthomolecular products called um called uh core restore program which is, I've used them all, not that the other ones are not good. I like this very, very much. We've put hundreds and hundreds of people on this. Um, uh, I'll talk about that. You can uh, uh, order that product for our, for our office. Uh, it is a two-phase liver detoxification program that works with the detoxify uh, water and fat-soluble toxins. Uh, it is very user-friendly, and there have been some incredible before and after blood changes from that particular detoxification. So I like that program the best. Also, there is a dietary and recipe component that comes with the program that's pretty easy to follow and creates some outstanding changes. So uh, orthomolecular's uh, a core restore program. Um, water primarily is water, and the Akai and the... Uh, the uh, pomegranate are very, very fine uh, drinks that support proper antioxidant. So it's different than, it's not just, we don't want to just drink a kai and pomegranate juice without drinking enough water. And certainly we have to find the best water uh, uh, for us. And a lot of the waters are not so good out there today, even the, the purported, uh, you know, uh, spring waters, etc. cetera. Um, as far as various meats versus vegetable, it's again, there's a bioindividuality involved with that, that some people primarily need animal protein. The problem is that they're not eating animal protein uh, that's organic or grass-fed. And uh, one of the, since we're talking on the subject of bacteria, there's a lot of, we find, and there's a reflex uh, that we're able to evaluate where individuals actually have uh, antibiotic-resistant uh, parasitic activity or infections in their guts, digestive tract, from eating t meat from animals that have been utilized, that have uh, been, you know, overfed with antibiotics. And then we eat it, and then it affects us, and it creates that. So some people may do better uh, with certain type of vo vegetable proteins, uh, versus animal protein and vice versa. But unless you have a testing mode to be able, in a way to evaluate that, you're not going to know. So there's, uh, I understand the religious beliefs and the feelings about meat and whatever, but there are many, for example, over the years of people that are vegetarians that are eating, uh, that are do, being a vegetarian or a vegan, and they're sick. They're very sick uh, that need meat. And uh, those people, patients of mine that have, trusted me in my evaluation process, realized that, you know what, they're not going to get better unless they change their dietary components, which can be evaluated through specific testing uh, that we utilize in our practice, in our clinic. Um, okay, so let's, uh, and uh, grass, C-R-A-S-S-P-H-A-G-E, are bacteriophages that have to do with the gut. Yeah, they're linked with obesity and diabetes and so on and so forth. Okay, now, let's demonstrate a little bit. I have Kristen with me. So we're going to demonstrate the enate component. I'm going to show you some reflexes that we test also. Uh, and this is something that uh, those that are listening in 
can uh, have done on them an evaluation process through our practice and also what we're going to be teaching uh, out in uh, Minnesota and other areas around the United States, this ENATE system. ENATE does utilize a uh, bioenergetic response test through a, what we call the right arm muscle test response. This is a very, very specific mode of testing. Um, we've been utilizing uh, uh, this type of testing in my practice, and I've been doing this for about 40 years. And we teach this very specifically uh, in, our, uh, in our workshops. There are a lot of people that are utilizing forms of testing and muscle testing, um, certain ones that we, uh, we advocate and other ones that we don't. And we certainly, do. I will not go through that tonight here for demonstration purposes, but it's something that we do talk about and present in the e seminars. I'm gonna demonstrate the master reflex points in general for the five foundational pillars and also the body systems, and also show you some very powerful reflexes uh, that we'll be discussing and teaching at the E8 workshops. Also, I do want to say that uh, I am joined at our programs with Dr. Annalisa Pasturi, who is a board certified internist, and she is an E8 practitioner, and she uh, uh, at this point has a six month waiting list practice is actually has not even taking new patients any longer. She will be with me in teaching this program. Uh, what Annalisa says is that apart from all of her functional medicine uh, testing and blood chemistry, she finds the innate reflexes and points that I'll be demonstrating to be many times more accurate than the blood and uh, functional medicine tests. That's how confident she is in these reflexes being so accurate. So let's show you what it looks like. The first thing that when we do our ENAID and we, we begin our testing, we always test the right arm. And there's a reason because, the reason we use the right arm response is because there's more motor and sensory innervation in the brain than any other part of the body other than the lips. But we haven't found a way to accurately assess the lips yet, so we use the right arm response, even if you're left-handed. Uh, so when I test, I'm going to be testing the right arm. This will be my no response, and this will be my yes, meaning that I have it, I need it, this is my no. There are five, remember we discussed the five major pillars. Let me show you what it looks like. When we test in the ENA master points, we keep it in groups. There's major group uh, reflexes that we test. Here's the first point. This is the tragus of the ear. This is a point that you'll be learning that can immediately evaluate hydration imbalances. And I'll see if Krista has it tonight. And notice her arm tests nice and strong. That is a no response. So in a matter of seconds, really, we can evaluate whether or not there's a proper hydration component. Let's go to the next point, uh, digestion. Digestion is a circuit below the uh, auditory meatus. There's a little hollow groove there. That's digestion. That's nice and strong. That's the second pillar. So it's very rapid assessment. Also, we can check to a reflex for the emotional gut. We talked about the emotional mind connection. And she tests real well. So we've already evaluated two pillars. We're going to check a third one, show you what it looks like. And this is for blood sugar handling. Do you have that okay, Rich? Mm -hmm. Blood sugar. Now, let's just imagine that, let's go back to that, Kristen, that, for, that that weakens. The body is indicating, I have a blood sugar handling problem. So in the e seminars and workshops, we would then go to functional reflexes some of these being what we call Chapman reflexes, Bennett reflexes, and Riddler reflexes. These are all physicians over the years that have come up with these points. And we could then go, for example, to three major points, which the anterior rib reflex, which relates to liver, and we would test it, and we would check the sixth and seventh ribs, the pancreas, to see if it tests, and we could check the adrenal 
shafting, and we would proceed onward. Let's check the fourth one, which is fatty acid metabolism, which is a point on the back of the ear, and that's our general master screen. Now, for example, if that weakened and said, yes, I have a fatty acid metabolism, in the innate system, we've come up with a very, very specific way, because a lot of times, you know, a lot, uh, many people are taking omega-3s, for example, but how do we really know that that's what they need? Okay, take omega-3s, take fish oil, but now we're hearing that, well, an overuse of fish oils is not always the best thing. Well, in the innate system, for example, we have another master reflex that can identify an imbalance in omega 369s, so apart from this fatty acid reflex. Let's show them, Kristen, what that looks like. The reflex on the left parietal region of the skull. And if that weakened, it would verify that there is an omega 369. Then we can isolate, and we have a reflex, which is one finger, which would identify, if that weakened, an omega 3 deficiency. Two fingers, omega 6. Three fingers, omega nines. It's very, very specific. So we've just evaluated, in a matter of really of several minutes, four major pillars. Let's show you the fifth one. Right along the mid-body, middle of the sternocleidomastoid muscle on the left side. That's a general master screen for tissue mineral assessment. And we would then proceed from there. So those master reflexes are evaluating the five major pillars of health. And we also have ones for the body systems. But since we're on virus infection and super germ, let me show you what sub, sub reflexes look like or what we call immune response points. Now remember that these reflexes that I'm demonstrating are pointing to the possibility that there may be infection, virus, super germs present in the body. Okay, I just want to make that clear. Let's give you a scenario. Let's say that we found the gut as a major pillar. We could then go, let me show you what, so we can immediately, as an ENA practitioner, identify a the body, what we call immune response number one, that can lead to a strep infection being in the body. Here's what the reflex looks like. Put your fingers there, Kristen. So in the innate system, you'll learn this point. It's so accurate. That is strep, staph infection, immune system two. Let me head back a little. You'll learn these reflexes. Virus. Pinching of the nose, so specific, meaning that if that weakened, the arm went down, we would know that there's an immune response with the potential that there is viral activity here in the body. Four, parasitic activity. Good, right? Now, we also have, what point are you there? Super germ infection. A super germ, a lot of people ask me, well, what Dr. Davis is a super germ? A super germ is a superbug, which is an infection or a virus that's so resistant to other modes of modality that it's, it's very difficult for the body to get rid of it. It's a super germ. It's a super strain. But there are ways of clearing that out. Also, I'd like to show you that many times viruses produce what's called neurotoxins or viral neurotoxins. And there's a reflex for that. Let's show what that looks like. Right around C7 in the back. Put your fingers there. Two fingers. So it would be great to immediately know in your assessment of your client or patient, or you as the patient having a difficulty out there to have an innate practitioner assess these points and then provide the proper modality to fix it. Also, we have a point for limes that's so accurate that we teach in our workshops. And these points, again, have been verified once they show that we then 
proceed with the proper medical labs and other testings that verify these particular points. This is a general screen for limes. If this weakened, then there's a point where we would be able to, with that reflex, determine whether it's exposure or active. There's a limes. We have a Babesia point, once you pinch there. We have a Bartonella point. Okay, and we have more. We have many of them, many of more. them, a lot more, <laughs> a lot more. And you'll learn these. So once you find them, there is proper nutritional protocols and other modalities in which we utilize to clear them out. Okay, so you can get a, I know that's, uh, I know that's a little fast, but these reflexes are extremely, extremely accurate. And they've been tested again on hundreds and hundreds of people and followed up with functional medicine testing and other components that really clear it out. Okay, so we're moving along. I don't want to run out of time until we give you proper... Uh, yeah, we have about six minutes. Now... If you were to utilize these, and let me just before I start, for those of you listening in, if you want to order these particular products, these are biotics research products. They are professional grade, professional high, uh, 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 nutrients. You cannot get these in a health food store. But you can order these through our office, and at this point, uh, let me give them to you, and then we'll, we'll, we'll close that down afterwards and tell you what you can do. First of all, in general, to boost your immune system and support it, a good Mediterranean or what's called a paleo-Mediterranean diet is essential. It's, it's, it's very helpful. Number two, a, um, uh, a product that supports uh, your, uh, a good probiotic uh, product, uh, there's one that we use and we recommend called BioDoff 7 Plus. And that product uh, taken one to two at bed or between meals would be great. BioDoff 7. A product called Optimal EFAs, these are your essential fatty acids. Uh, are very beneficial to a day. Uh, and then what we call a, the, you know, an antiviral component, which is your vitamin D, or what we call, uh, but a liquefied vitamin D, what we call biodemulsion forte, one to two drops a day. Each drop is 2,000 IUs. Um, another product we recommend as a general support, a product called Pro, Pro Multi Plus, Pro Multi Plus to a day, and, um, and your good old paleo Mediterranean diet. So if you uh, just took those for a wellness type of program, um, you would do a lot to help yourself. Also, let me give you some, uh, some other um, nutrients. Here's some for chronic viral problems that you or someone may, may be having difficulty with. For chronic viral problems, I want you to consider the following. A, uh, what's called, you want to take some L-glutamine, um, which in biotics comes in powder or capsules, and um, one tablespoon, teaspoon of L-glutamine from biotics contains three gra grams of L-glutamine. Consider six grams, two tablespoons, two to four times a day between meals. Also, vitamin C as mixed ascorbate powder. Um, and um, those are important, those two products for chronic viral. Other viral inhibitors of viral replication and immune system modulation, number one, um, consider these. Uh, Biotics makes a product 
products that enhance what's called T-regulator cells that help to um, your immune function and uh, will reduce, um, so to speak, you know, these problems with autoimmunity. And uh, consider the following in any autoimmune compromised patient. So it may be yourself, you may be a physician, doctor, practitioner listening in. Uh, vitamin A, vitamin D, green tea, omega-3 fatty acids, probiotics, and lipoic acid. I'll repeat that again. Vitamin A, vitamin D, green tea, omega-3s, fatty acids, probiotics, and lipoic acid. Number two, what's important, again, those nutrients, again, complement or enhance what's called T regulator cells. Number two, Biotics makes a product called Bioimmunozyme Forte. And this is a wonderful foundation of nutrients to build cellular reserves, particularly for your immune system. Bioimmunozyme Forte. Number three, Biotics makes a product called Ultra Virex. Ultra, U-L-T-R-A dash X, I'm sorry, V-I-R dash X. Um, this assists the immune, immune system with viral products. Um, also, uh, two times a day, you should focus on that. And then there's some glandular extracts that Biotics makes that we recommend. Uh, one product is called Cytozyme Thymus Tissue and or or slash and cytosine spleen. If you support your spleen to, and your thymus tissue, uh, you'll do a lot to boost your immune system up. Uh, at least two a day, two to three a day of each of those uh, is very important. Uh, another product that's very, very good to support your immune system that Biotics makes is called BioFCT. S. Now, BioFCTS, F stands for flavonoids, C is vitamin C, T is thymus tissue, and S is spleen tissue. The flavonoids in this BioFCTS have viral replicating inhibitory effects. And also, it has quercetin uh, in it that's been shown to balance the relationship between um, Th1 and Th2. Um, so, uh, Another very good product. Uh, one other one, or two other ones, called IAG powder. Now, IAG has what's called arabinogalactins in it, and that's been shown to increase uh, these arabinogalactins' natural killer cells. And lastly, Biotics makes a homeopathic formulation. Actually, there's 10 what's called 21st century homeopathic formulas, and uh, number four, homeopathic, is called detox virus, uh, and it's used to help the body recover from virus on a homeopathic level. So these are some nutritional recommendations uh, that you can certainly do to support your immune function and, uh, and uh, you know, be on, be on top of this viral uh, infection situation that's going on out there. Now, uh, I just want to add that if you want these products, we, for the next week at our office, Davis Advanced Health System, are offering to get you these products for a 15% uh, uh, discount. So, uh, and we support you, meaning that a lot of times you'll go and order these products from uh, somewhere else and you don't have the support. We'll support you and help you going forth in these products and, and uh, make recommendations to you. So you can reach our office. Certainly go to the, our website, davisahs.com, but our office number is 973-744-7447. Um, running out of time. We're right there. We're a little bit over. And... Um, um, Boy, I could spend another three hours on the topic. And I would encourage you all that are listening in to please go to, uh, go to the archive of the show again and listen in. And certainly uh, call us or send us an email. Um, 
with any comments or any information that you may uh, that you may want. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to uh, sign off. It's been a pleasure. The hour goes so fast, as I mentioned. I hope uh, you found this informative and with some good information so you can uh, boost yourself and strengthen yourself and keep that immune system going, right? And um, take the necessary time also to, uh, to get proper sunlight and be outside and be in nature and listen to fine music and dance and have fun. And all of that affects your immune function. And get outside, as I just mentioned. Um, we're going to be back next week with a live show. I think we're going to be, what time, Rich? We're, we're going to be at 7, a new time. And um, I wish you all a good week. Take the information, utilize it, and uh, look forward to speaking to you again. So see you on the radio. I'm Dr. Ken Davis. This is Creating Health, Mind, Body, and Spirit. Have a good night. It's not just radio. It's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com